there is a law that we passed in Congress that dictates that if we, uh, if an American uh, citizen, if any kind of uh, American uh, service member, active duty, or uh, vice versa, is ever brought up to the International Criminal Court, if they are extradited to the International Criminal Court, the U.S. Hague Invasion Act will kick in. You heard that right. We will invade the Hague. U.S. President George Bush today signed into law the American Service Members Protection Act. That's what the... Uh, that, that's what it was called, which is intended to intimidate countries that ratify the treaty for the International Criminal Court. The new law authorizes the use of military force to liberate any American or citizen of a U.S. allied country being held by the court, which is located in The Hague. This provision, dubbed the Hague Invasion Clause, has a strong reaction from U.S. allies around the world, particularly in the Netherlands. This is real. This is still uh, in, in uh, action. Maybe that's one of the reasons why you can't really prosecute American war crimes in the International Criminal Court. Oh, this was pretty funny too. Of course, this uh, pairs along nicely with this. Pentagon block sharing evidence of possible Russian war crimes with the Hague Court. I wonder why. Perhaps because it would set a bad precedent. And then lastly, International Criminal Court officials sanctioned by the United States. This was back in the 2nd of September, 2020, the U.S. court has imposed sanctions on senior officials in the International Criminal Court, inc including Chief Prosecutor Fatou Ben Souda. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo accused the court of illegitimate attempts to subject Americans to his jurisdiction. How wonderful that this related. Iraq amputee, I can hug my son with my feet. Related to this, okay? All of this is somehow related to one another, I suspect. I haven't even read the article, but, you know, wonder how that happened to that guy but yeah the u.s has criticized the court since its foundation and is one of uh is one of a dozen states which have not signed up balkis jara a senior counsel of the non-governmental organization human rights watch condemned the sanctions as a shameful new low for u.s commitments to justice for victims of the worst crimes once again uh you know the geneva suggestion not the geneva convention or any matter of international uh law is merely just a, a, a weapon against America's foreign adversaries. That's it. That is it. There are no rules for America. Only rules for who America has declared their enemies. That's it.